Alright guys, somehow I completely missed this, but on September the 15th, Call of Duty released a blog post basically revealing the brand new map that is going to be in Warzone 2. So today I want to take a look at this and look through this and see what interesting things we got going on here. So we can actually take a closer look here at the different places and what they're going to be called. We got a huge city area over here. We got a bunch of rivers going through the actual map. I see observatory over here. Would this be the brand new peak? Have they included the peak in this? <laughs> uh, we'll see. I guess we'll see in game. We got airport over here, fortress, which is a separated island, a port, a quarry. This is looking awesome. So as we can clearly see, it looks very deserty. So not a whole lot of greenery, other than here on the edges and a little bit over here by the lakes, which makes sense because there's water there. But in general, this seems like a very deserty map, which I'm all for. As part of this announcement, we're excited to introduce El Masra, a brand new map for Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. This massive. Metropoli metropolitan 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 area plays an equally gigantic role within the Modern Warfare 2 universe featured within the campaign and a pivotal part of the events following it. Man, there's a lot of tough words here. Just like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, consider El Masra and its major points of interest as your new home for a variety of missions, 4-player special operations, 6v6 squad battles, ground war operations, up to 150-player battle royales and more. Wow, isn't Warzone like only 100 players? They must have buffed it to 150. Wow. Additionally, if you've been playing Call of Duty for a while, this new home might be more familiar than you think. So here are the major points of interest. We got oases. Several pools of fresh water and palm trees offer respite from the desert beyond it. Note the ancient ruins. The small area was once a means of life in a bygone age. And so we have some ruins here. We got a pond, which with the new water water fighting mechanics, maybe we'll be able to camp down these, these holes here and just sit there on the water and wait for enemies to pass. That would be interesting. We got the Tarak village here. I'm probably butchering that. I'm trying my best here. A united offensive reduced this once peaceful village to mere dust and rubble. The tight confines of these areas make it conductive to small squad combat, especially duels. So a bunch of cover and small buildings and stuff where people might be hiding and yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be some close quarters combat. Rohan Oil. One of the largest employers in the region, the Rohan Oil Refinery is positioned strategically near some of Adele's oldest petroleum derricks. Note the living quarters to the north and south of this otherwise sprawling factory. That looks awesome as well. Quarry. Massive deposits of limestone make the quarry one of the three largest industrial areas in El Masra, with nearly a dozen warehouses and hundreds of individually chiseled stone blocks. Oh, are those it right there? These right here? Those right there as well. Yep, yep, that's a lot of that. Those are some heavy rocks. And then of course we got El Masra City. The past 100 years of Adel history encapsulated high rises and modern buildings are at the core at the largest point of interest in El Masra. It was planned to be the ideal city. It soon welcomed nearly a million people who were pushed out of the slums on the outskirts. Hydroelectric. Ooh. The cradle of civilization now comes full circle to the modern era with the advent of renewable energy. A mix of historical landmarks, mid-century living arrangements and modern industrial buildings are scattered around the rivers that create electricity for the small town as well as for the entire region. So again, a bunch of smaller buildings, we got the bridge and the river. Is that a waterfall or some sort of like hydraulic thing over there maybe? Because obviously the water is up here that it goes down like so. Man, I'm excited to play this. Marshlands. The Marshlands was once the home of the ambitious River Diamond Luxury Resort in the 12th century. Now, due to rising river levels, it and the town around it are completely flooded, both with water from the rivers and trash flowing from the city to the north. So are we gonna get buildings that are like covered in water, like submerged? Caves. A deep network of underground hideouts lies in plain sight of a small village where a plane once crashed, built on the mountainside. Elsewhere, a tall communications tower and small collection of homes span back towards the quarry. And here we have the observatory atop the tallest mountain in El Masra. Several doomed structures, including a destroyed one, help the region chat out the stars. Note the research facilities between each of the observation buildings. So we can clearly see this is like on top of like 
like probably the highest peak of the map here. And Sharim Pass, this old monastery and mausoleum, overlook a modern village and Sioux. The tallest hill contains several modernized buildings over the rest of the area, partially destroyed to the elements of the war. Akhtar village, an old town fit for a showdown, as one rider covering an old coop once wrote. The World Heritage Site consists of central courtyard and market areas define the western half, while more modern apartments make up the east. So a bunch of apartment buildings and again close quarter combat here. Said City, an extensive button mall is ju juxt juxtaposed by old apartments that house generation of port workers. Place a deal with close together for contrasting effect. Okay. The area also contains a medieval themed carnival and a minor league football stadium. Then finally we got the port. The port is the economic gemstone of El Masra ending the Rohan oil pipeline out to the greater seas. Several large warehouse structures can be found inland while the port itself has little containers due to the international economic restrictions for the region. Those are huge. Then we got Sawa village with a wrecked ship with oil coming out of it and polluting the water. That's not good. Rising sea level caused this once bustling coastal village to be submerged under water, with a crashed freight ship being a symptom rather than the cause of the evacuated population. Oh, I can see that if we take a look at the water here, if we zoom in a little bit, we can see the water is actually covering the entire area of this. Wow, there's probably gonna be able to be some uh, water combat here. Then we finally got the cemetery, a monument to the fallen, a significant graveyard is now mostly direct and unkept, especially with a collapsed water tower flooding dozens of graves. This area is completely open to the elements with a broken stone wall defining its boundaries. Yeah, not a whole lot of cover there. Sarif Bay, home to the country's valuable fisheries, this bay maintains the history of El Basra as well as Adel. It contains a vibrant downtown section with suburbs a modern resort and a few small islands. El Bagra Fortress? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. The definition of the region's medieval history, this walled island city was a museum dedicated to display its cultural significance up until occupation. Note the large crab factory on the east end as spillover from the adjacent Serif Bay. And then we got the airport. I wonder if there will be planes in this. Terminal to the south tip of El Masra, this modern airport mixes traditional and modern architecture to host both business and leisure activities. The observation tower near the sea is extremely approachable. And I see this right here, which is a sip line thingy, so we can sip all the way up to the top. That's gonna be fun sniping from there. We will have more details on each of these major points of interest, as well as the suburbs that surround it, closer to the launch of Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. In addition, the original Call of Duty Warzone is continuing on, and we'll have more information to share in the weeks ahead. Stay frosty. That was really, really interesting. I will leave a link to this blog post down below in the description if you wish to check out these images and analyze them for yourself. This is very interesting and I am very much looking forward to be playing this. I cannot wait. So guys, that's it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments which of the areas you are most excited for that we covered here that was on the brand new Warzone 2.0 map. Let me know down below in the comments which one of those was your favorite. But yeah, like I said, that's gonna be it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, share this video with a friend, it helps out the channel a ton, enable those notifications as I'll be live streaming the early access open beta on Thursday. You don't want to miss it. I'll be sure to schedule the stream beforehand so you can enable notifications on that as well. But with that said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the battlefield. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.